Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. It's RJ. And pretty much getting back to my roots today as far as sneakers go. When I first started this channel, it was just Ultra Boost City. There really hasn't been anything that's come out from Adidas in the Ultra Boost lineup that's that's grabbed my attention, you know, outside of like the 19s and the 20s. And today, as you can see over my left shoulder, we've got a pair that's pretty unique. It's gonna be a little tough because there's a lot of people who are deeming these the Chinese New Year pack, StockX, GOAT. Not that those are reliable sources, no offense guys, but you're not blogs and or manufacturers. I don't think this is necessarily a Chinese New Year in the sense that we're used to. A slew of Ultra Boost dropped, and I'll have another one coming in a couple days that are from what is being called the DNA pack. And this is one of those. It does say Ultra Boost DNA on the box tag right there. This box, super unique. I'll go over it in just a second. This was a little confusing to me because there's a tiger literally embroidered right on the top of the shoe. And we'll take a look at that as well in just a moment. I had actually already looked into which animal was going to represent 2020 when it comes to the Chinese zodiac or the Chinese calendar. And this year is the year of the rat. So it really threw me off when I saw the tiger and everybody calling this a Chinese New Year sneaker. Maybe it is because obviously the tiger is one of the zodiac signs. I'm obviously not of Chinese descent whatsoever. So maybe I'm missing something. I did a little research, I couldn't find anything. I think it's just Chinese influenced and a lot of the, a lot of the, all, the whole DNA pack pretty much has Chinese influence and, and prints and flowers and koi and all sorts of, all sorts of things from Chinese culture. So I just wanted to preface before we really get into it and hopefully that clears up anything or any confusion that might come about. So anyway, let's look at the box real quick. You do have a sleeve over the actual box. The sleeve is all white has gold foiling on it. You've got koi and flowers and just like I said, a bunch of uh, just Chinese vibes. I'm obviously a big fan of boxes. I like when, when there's a little more to the shoe than the actual shoe itself. So putting them in a red box, super dope. You've got the Adidas performance logo up top as well as on the backside. Box does slide open like so. You've got the size tag right there we already took a look at. And that's the box. Now these are obviously what you guys came to see and here they are. Both left and right are identical except the tiger that we'll talk about is facing inward on both shoes. So not gonna be identical, mirroring each other if you will. Obviously I have a ridiculous amount of experience with Ultra Boost. They make up the majority of my collection even still. I just love the shoe. I love the silhouette. I love the comfort. Pretty much love everything about it. These are semi outlandish, slightly luxurious, a little elegant if you will. And I like them. I like them a lot. It's, it's a whole different upper compared to anything we've seen in the Ultra Boost lineup. You have a almost a camo prime knit base all the way throughout the upper. You've got the typical padding around the ankle and on the back Achilles area of the shoe. Inner liner is gonna be white. And then all around the toe box, as well as beneath the cage and on the back panel of the shoe, you almost have what looks like heat transferred little circles or dots. I'm not really sure exactly how better to describe those. You'll get a better look at them when I put them on feet and I'm sure the camera's picking them up just fine. But you can see them right there. And that's something I personally, unless I'm mistaken, have never seen on an Ultra Boost up till right now. These were a little hard to get a hold of. I did have to order them from overseas. I don't think they dropped stateside, so that's why it took so long. These have been out for a little while now, but luckily though, I was able to source them as well as the other colorway from the DNA pack. So the other thing that we'll just get right into, you know, that, that's jumping out at everybody, both literally and figuratively, is a tiger embroidered on top of the toe box. Again, something else I've never seen. An actual embroidery on top of the toe box, so that's gonna be right into the prime knit right there. Tail and all, super dope tiger, man. Like ridiculously dope. I'm, I've got a tiger on, on the top of my arm tattooed. I was born in 86, year of the tiger. These were must-haves, honestly. This is super dope. I was super stoked when I saw these. Obviously, I already mentioned, it is not the year of the tiger this year. I believe the next time the tiger comes around is 2022. But it's on here. It's it's a Chinese zodiac symbol. It's on here. Obviously, I don't think they're they're referencing these as the Chinese New Year, but maybe they are. Maybe I'm mistaken, and, and maybe somebody up. I don't know. Outside of that tiger, you've got a 
slightly frosted, clear, translucent cage. For those of you brand new and who live under a rock, the cage makes up the lacing system. You've got white, flat cotton laces, gold lace aglets or tips. Come up to the tongue, you've got the Adidas Performance logo right there in gold as well. Attached to the cage, as always, you have a heel cup, wraps the lateral all the way into the medial portion of the shoe. Can't hide it any longer. You have a bunch of flowers printed on the midsole portion on the boost as well as on both sides of the cage beautiful man for i really have no way else to describe it just super pretty and I, I wish i could do it justice but you can obviously see right there and you'll see better when i do put them on feet just amazing man. I've, I've never seen anything like this i've never owned a sneaker that had anything like this on this you know and, and it, i think it's super dope good change of pace could have had these like years ago and they probably would have flown and been a lot more hyped i'm glad i got a hold of them i think they're i think they're cool you've got the ultra boost branding right there on the heel cup in gold as far as the insoles go pretty unique i almost forgot to pull these out and show you guys hopefully the camera picks it up you've obviously got the tiger on one side big old paw on the other side and then the typical bubble boost branding well not typical that's as of like beginning of last year, I believe they started doing the bubble print. Cool looking insole, cool graphic. Another thing that, that I'm a sucker for, when you when you brand the insoles or throw a graphic on the insoles, anything that, that veers away from the typical, I'm always about it. So there's your insole for the Chinese New Year. And as I mentioned already, you've got the typical boost, ultra boost midsole. You do have the flower patterns, obviously printed there, as I mentioned as well. And it's no different. This is the same silhouette that we've seen since the first Ultra Boost. Same shape, same everything, same amount of boost. But I had to mention it. Flip over to the outsole, black rubber, Continental branded outsole, Continental logo up top, torsion system right there in the middle, capped off in gold to match all the rest of the gold throughout the sneaker. And that's pretty much the shoe. Like I mentioned already, I did get these overseas. So as far as pricing goes, you're right around 200 bucks, 180, 200 bucks, and obviously typical for an Ultra Boost. Here in the States, 180 is the base price. Occasionally when you have collaborations, special editions, they pop up to 200. In very odd cases, 220, but I think I've only seen a few go that high. So if you're picking them up, you can still find them for retail. Um, I will, if I remember, I'll link down below where I got them so you guys can see it was SVD for those of you who are familiar with the shop. I am not exactly sure, somewhere in Europe, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, I'll link them down below. Outside of that, comfort, it's an ultra boost, man. You guys know I've beaten it to death. This is my favorite sneaker, nine out of 10 at the very least. I love this thing, man. I, I, I rock ultra boost all the time, still to date. I've obviously been wearing a lot of Yeezys lately, but these are what I'm rocking right now, ultra boost just fire comfort level love them sizing go true to size these are uh these run very true to size i've worn them already and stoked on them I'm, I'm always glad when i pick up an ultra boost and it goes true to size especially when i pick it up from overseas because returns are a pain and i don't like going through that so like i said true to size to recap 180 usd comfy as anything else in the whole entire world nine out of ten ish if not higher i'd give it a 10 out of 10 if it wasn't just silly to be doing that and lastly true to size i wear a 10 and a half i got a 10 and a half they fit perfectly that's gonna do it guys if you have any questions about this sneaker i will do my best very best to answer any questions about it if you have any information on why they put a tiger on here if you're uh if you're of chinese descent and or you might have a little more info or knowledge onto why that could be please leave that down below as well I appreciate you guys when you when you help me out with the information that I'm lacking means the world to me. As always, thank you so much for watching the videos. And like I always say, if you haven't already, leave a thumbs up on the video. If you're brand new to the channel and this is the first time you've, you've cruised through, do me a favor, tap that subscribe button, hit the little bell notification, get an alert every single time I upload a video. Guys, I appreciate you. Like I said, I will throw these on my feet right now. And I've got another pair from the DNA pack coming up in a couple days. Stay tuned. That's it for now, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace out. Thank you.